So we're back in with another first impressions video and we've finally got our final X-Force character, it is of course X-23, so I will look to do a video later on tonight, some T-8 Blitz and we'll see if she actually pulls that team up, because in the testing I've done so far with four of the characters, they feel really disappointing, so fingers crossed, once you slot her in she'll be the, the final part of the puzzle and the team will really click, but what we'll do, usual first impressions video here, we'll talk about the stats, we'll look at the abilities, I'll tell you which ones I would recommend putting your tier fours into then from there we'll show off the animations we'll do some gameplay and then i'll give a quick summary as well but let's jump in and we'll check out the stats for her first stats already been all punched into the spreadsheet her health is definitely on the higher side she has 94,000 power here but she's got 245,000 health which is pretty amazing and then you've got her damage that is down at an actual d rating but when we look at her kit she's got a lot of multiple attacks and she's got a whole lot of piercing in her kit as well so that will pull up her damage it does look low but she still will be pretty tasty despite that when you look at that armor that's a d rating You've then got Focus, that's coming in at a, let's see, that would be a B rating there, that will be relevant when we look at our cat. Resistance is definitely on the lower side, it's down at an ease, that may be a way to try and counter, try and put some debuffs on her, like slows and stuns and what have you. And then we have her speed, which is 115, and that comes in at a B rating there, so she's pretty fast. And when we look at her passive, she's actually got ways of speeding herself up as well, so I do like that, that she's all about hitting hard and hitting fast, really. Now for the abilities, we start off with the basic, we've got Schnicked, and this one here, it's attack primary target for 250% piercing, and you're gaining evade, now the difference from level 6 to 7 in this is 50% piercing to a primary target, which is a decent amount, but you're always getting that evade, normally you've only got the 1 in 2 chance for an evade, and getting a guaranteed evade in a basic is actually really pretty nice for survivability there, if you put that alongside our health it's even nicer. The special is Relentless Assault, so with this one you're attacking the primary target for 240% piercing and apply ability block. If blocked or dodged then you gain bonus attack for 290% piercing. So if a character's got deflect for example that will be classed as a block and then you get the bonus attack. You're also applying one ability block up to a maximum of three. It'll be interesting to see if that stacks with the number of attacks. And then the bonus attack is unavoidable, and in war the bonus attack gains 10,000% extra focus there. This is just at level 6. If you were to max it out, you're getting an additional 60% piercing to primary target on all attacks. And considering you could be hitting multiple times, I'd say this is definitely worth maxing out. This is one you're really going to be able to assassinate some harder characters with this. And it is a, a 4 turn cooldown, which is pretty low, and you've got it available turn number 1 as well. The ultimate here, Feral Rage, and this one you'll be using turn number 2, it's attack the most injured non-summon target for 140% piercing, ignoring taunt and stealth, and then you flip stealth on that target, that'll be very nice against it as guardians, and then you repeat this attack an additional 4 times, which is pretty amazing, this one is maxed out, I should add, and with this as well, if X-23 finishes the last non-summoned enemy, so basically if she takes out all the regular characters, then she'll move on to the summons here. So I do like that they've actually thought about that happening, so you can still get the most out of this ability. So really interesting to see it. If we look at the maxed out version from 6 to 7, it is an additional 20% piercing on all attacks, but you're going to be doing... Let's see, it's going to be 5 attacks, so that's an extra 100% piercing spread out over other characters, I would say that's worthwhile, and you always flip stealth on each attack as well there, so really pretty nice that one. Passive is Mutant Weapon, so on turn you heal for 10% of this character's max health, so looking at our health currently, 240,000, so you're around about 24,000, you'll be healing every turn. When an enemy drops below 50% health, then you're filling speed bar by 40%, this one is maxed out I should say. And when this character's health drops below 50%, you're gaining 2 of aid. That on top of the evade she gets on her base, you can make her a right pain to take down. And also you're gaining 60% focus in X-Force Allies and Wolverine gain that focus as well. And then on War Offense, you're gaining 80% focus in X-Force Allies are gaining 
80% as well there. Now if we scroll down a little bit, you can see the level 5 upgrade, you're filling the speed bar by an additional 20% and you've got that focus as well. Now I always say when it comes to the likes of focus and resistance when they're baked into passives, just go in and do a match and see if you're being resisted, see if your debuffs aren't actually applying and if that is the case then at that point upgrade it, but I wouldn't say they're always uh, an automatic instant upgrade. Go in and see how you actually got on first and then take it from there. But that's all her abilities and her stats, so let's jump in, we'll check out the gameplay now. So we've got just a random stage here, because we're just showing off the actual animations. So let's start off with the, the special here. It's just going to be a series of different melee attacks, I suppose. You can see the, the speed bar filling up there. 400% is definitely a decent amount. We should have the ultimate coming up next. speed up a second just to get back to our turn here we go for the ultimate so this one here will be hitting multiple targets it's pretty nice reminds me a little bit and this is what i was wanting to see of x23 in the logan movie when she just jumping between all the other characters there you go look at the speed bar filling up there as well due to the multiple attacks so that's pretty nice of course that is because the enemies are dropping down below a certain amount, but even still, that could really be pretty interesting. We've got the basic attack here next. We'll see how many different variants of that we have. They're hardly going to get a turn. There's a nice little cartwheel there. It's a different kick. Quite a few different ones here. I suppose she is relatively basic in that she's a melee character, but it's still pretty nice, the animations. Oh wow. I see that. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh wow, that one was great. Even better that she got to hit them off the stage there. So there we go, that's the animations. Let's now jump in with a full X-Force team. We're going to Nexus 8.3. So the X-Force team will be showing off then 459,000 power. And this is the one that we will be showing off, of course, when we do some tier 8 blitz later on this evening as well, time permitting. So let's jump in now and see how this team gets on now that we've got X-23 added. Okay, here we go. We should absolutely smash them here. We'll start off on Ultimus first. So we'll go for the Ultimate here. Let's put it on times two. Otherwise it'll take an absolute age for the match. Now let's see. We'll go for this one here. There's no deflect or anything like that or dodge. So we're not seeing the, the bonus attacks there. And then let's get some bleeds going on here. Because they're minions. Chain was really nice. And then Negasonic, let's see what she's doing again. So she's attacking, she's adding uh, the heal block as well. So let's go for that on everyone. Of course, with the extra focus, you have the higher chance of the likes of the heal block actually applying. And the same with the bleeds on Deadpool as well. And then from here, yeah, let's go for this one. This is really pretty nice. So you can see as well that. It really flips between the characters until their health all drops down, so you could have one target that would take a whole lot of damage as a result of it. So we go for the basic here on Cable. Fair amount of speed bar manipulation in this team that's going on. Does make sense the fact they have got Cable though. Get some more speed bar manipulation here if that worked right. Doesn't always, yep. 700 they gain there, so that's pretty awesome. You don't feel like they've been completely transformed here with X-23, but the new test, of course, is going to be when we go in and we do the, the Tier 8 Blitz. They really were disappointing in the, the last video. So let's see. You gain evade as well here when you use this. Let's just go for Minerva, actually. That makes sense before she reses anyone. And then once again... Getting another attack there pretty quickly. Let's go for just this one here. Go for the grenade toss between Deadpool and Domino. And then we're just about done here. I'm trying to think back to the last video before we had them, how easy this particular stage was. I think we maybe only went in with four characters when I'm thinking about it. We didn't drop anyone else into the fifth slot. 
still, they're doing okay, but I'm not massively convinced. If anyone was to ask me, I'd say I'm probably still on the fence, but again, the, the T-8 Blitz later on will, will help us decide how they're going to be in that mode, but ultimately, of course, they are designed for your, your war offence, but you want teams to be able to be used in other modes as well, because it's a lot to invest in them. But that's X-23 anyway, I hope this video was interesting enough, let me know what you think of it in the comments below, and I'll see you all again soon.